Hey, hey, what's up, it's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of our final vlog. Today's video is brought to you by you. And this is a project I have to thank Josh E. Rotten for getting me into. Because it was when he first sent me the Septic Fumes promo. He was like, yo, I know you like... And that means necro drunks and stuff. Really He's like, wait till born. you hear hemorrhoid. It's like Seth and Dylan's new band. And I was like, alright. And he had this like head split version that was very like DIY. Uh, it was like on I don't even think it had a head split logo on it. It might have, but like it was something like that. I, I honestly, I, I forget, like, but it was like a regular, you know, tape. And that was what was to become one of my favorite three plus minutes of a demo. And that's the Hemorrhoid 2023 demo tape on Extremely Rotten Productions. I guess you could only get the head split one at shows because I seriously almost every day like was looking for this before finally just being like screw it like next time I make an order from Extremely Rotten Bite the bullet, it's worth it, and yeah, it is because you get, um, excuse me, you get one track taken from the full length album, Raw Materials of Decay, which is what we're going over today, right now, my favorite release of the year, like, no joke, but I just feel I want to go and let you know how important this little bad boy was. So, tracks two and three are exclusive only to the demo team. So, at the end of the day, it's 100% worth it. To get those songs. I know you can listen to them digitally, but they sound so good on here. Great tape cosmetics. Charlie K at Underworld Studios. The Underworld or Underground, I'm sorry. Underworld Studios, I was correct. But yeah, you got Charlie from Ascended Dead doing the production. Like, and, hold on a second. We also have, uh, wait, let me check the full length lineup. But this, the demo, as short as it is, it's BOOM! Grand Slam. But, when it comes to raw materials of decay, Yo, I can't wait for this final release. LP, and I guess there is no specific... Uh, well, I don't really know. I'm going just... We have a head split logo, and we have an ERP logo. Now... Awesome collage. And we have the same lineup as the full as the demo. Obsessor of Necrotic Coitus on Bass. I mean uh yeah, Bass. <laughs> Disguster on Explosions and Vomit and Seth on guitar and vocals. Fifteen tracks of Legit, some of the best death grind I've heard since I first heard Galvanizer. 
and like cadaver incubator. That's saying a lot. Like I love necro drunks, but I really, really love raw materials of decay. Like, I know this isn't colored, but oh my goodness, the cover art is so good. I just, oh. And again, to me, this represents Head Split Records as, like, not just a release. To me, I don't, and this is not 100% true, because, like, I was listening to some speed metal on Head Split, like, legit, right here, like, some straight up thrashing speed, and also, I've been really enjoying the new posthumous regurgitation. But nothing has touched raw materials of decay. Like, it's just so fucking good. Yes. Like, no unnecessary nonsense. I'm guessing maybe the ERP version will be in, like, the ERP font and stuff. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, hold on one second. Let me make sure I'm grabbing... No, that one's not... Hold on. There's a couple ERP releases that are, I think they like might have the band logo on it. That that's not what I'm I'm looking for. You'll see once I. Shit. I'm trying to think which ones. Uh, and hold on, I I legitimately apologize. I'm just gonna. I think. This doesn't have the logo. Now it has the logo. Fuck. Um, I know that has the logo. That has the logo. Alright, we're just gonna have to go with... I'm pretty sure that, no, the Undergang Live has the Undergang logo. Fuck. I'm trying to show you something, but I'm not gonna be able to. This is the closest I'm going to get. And this is not at all what I'm... It, it kind of is, but it's not. On most Extremely Rotten releases, you'll have the title written in a certain font. Like, a, the typewriter font. Above. Like, that's all in the typewriter font. I don't know why I was having such a hard time. Because, like, this actually has, like... I'm an idiot. I'm like legitimately. I'm. I am a fool. The hemorrhoid tape. That's what I'm talking about, right there. And I'm pretty sure that uh, the sulfurous tape is the same thing. Now it has the logo. Oh, fuck me. I'm sorry, but still, this is what I'm talking about. That. Like, Septic Fumes has it. I think it's for demos. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's for, like, demos only. That get that, uh... You know... Uh, font. But, to me, that font alone is... A seal of, like, alright, this is gonna be badass. It's the same with Head Split. Like, when I see that logo... When I see that logo right there... It's like, alright, this is probably gonna be badass, or, you know, 
be badass in a different way, because I love when, like, Dylan randomly sends me, like, speed metal and stuff, and I end up just, like, loving it. Because I, I love this type of shit, like, raw, thrashing speed. It's the shit. But I noticed with the hemorrhoid full length, it has the demo skull. I can't win today. It's just one of those fucking days, you know? And here, sequestrium, pickle preservation. Here's what I'm talking about. Again, this is a different color, but still, you get the typewriter font and stuff. And to me, that's extremely rotten productions. Like, and they have their logo, and you know you're getting some top quality, top shelf shit. Like, legitimately, oh, I love that sequestrum rehearsal. I was just looking at it, and I was like, ooh, I forgot how good that is. But I already like how Hemorrhoid, kind of, I don't know, but to me, they have a mascot. There it is. I mean, it was used on two releases, so like I said, might not really be a mascot, but for right now, that's Hemorrhoid Harry. That's what I'm going to call him. And Hemorrhoid Harry looks like, you know, a scene from fucking... Oh my goodness, you got it. Street Trash. Very Street Trash looking cover art, which is always amazing. Anytime you have melting bodies, <laughs> exploding bodies, it's normally influenced by street trash. And I know the maniacs in Hemorrhoid definitely love Impentago. And I'm guessing they definitely love street trash. I feel like if you're in a band like this, you love street trash. If Viper was a real thing, you would drink it. I would hope not. Like, but, I mean, you get what I'm saying. Like, that's one of those movies. Like, if you don't know what street trash is, just be forewarned. Like, especially if you were, like, brought up on, like, the, the Disney... Star Wars movies, like, Street Trash is not for you. And if you think, like, the new Ghostbusters movies are good, no. Like, Street Trash is not for you. But I, I, I feel like maybe if you like Ghostbusters 2, like, you, you might appreciate its total different ends of the spectrum. I'm just trying to get more people to watch Street Trash. Because it's just one of those movies, like, even the, the Accursed Womb logo, this is the Street Trash logo. Like, purposely, like, I, I told Lucas, uh, Rusted Winds, I, was, I sent him clips from the movie and everything. And I was like, yo, like, make sure there's, like, eyeballs and, and like, stuff, like, but mix it up with a bit of uh, Alters of Madness, and that's what we got. But you can see, like, just, like, the eyeballs and stuff. Like, we got that from Street Trash. I'm guessing the same here. But there's so many places this amazing cover art influence could have came from. I mean, that could have been someone's real hemorrhoid. This is their just artistic depiction of the brutality. But Raw Materials of Decay, 15 tracks of legitimately, and I know it's Dylan's label, like Head Split, but like this is one of those Head Split releases I put up there with, you know, the Eye Gouger, uh, Ass Attack, Ass Rotor comp, like, per reissuing, paralysis, arachnid, infester, 
like all that sick shit, you know, like it, it's one of, but like when I think of head split records, it's bands, not just like caustic wound and fetid that come to mind. It's bands like Puss Rot, Lord Gore, like, you know, shit like that is more like, and especially necro drunks. Because Hemorrhoid takes, like, necro drunks, take it, and, like, make it just, I don't know, I can't explain, it's just, wow. Like, just wow. And it takes a lot for, like, legitimately a modern death grind release to be like, holy shit, like, Especially when, like, they use the shifter. And they use it sparingly. It's not like everything sounds like a toilet bowl. And I, I like that. Like, I like that it's, like, regular vocals. And then when it it becomes time, like, alright. They'll do a few sh lines shifted. And then back to regular vocals. Then back to shifted. I love that. And it's used in such a way that it's never distracting because sometimes I get distracted by cool vocal patterns and I'm not even paying attention to like the riffs and stuff here no like the riffs the drums the vocals the whole package the production top shelf a plus filthy as fuck gore riddled death grind i've heard people call it gore grind it's death grind in my opinion opinion whatever you it can be straight up death metal in your opinion i don't just as long as you're checking it out and enjoying what you hear to me this is a total poser disposer if you're like ah, i'm not into it i have to question if you even like, you know, this type of music. And if they're like, well, uh, it doesn't sound like Bolt Thrower or, you know, whatever. It doesn't sound like Sinister. It's like, you know, not everything needs to sound like these three albums. I mean, yeah, they're, they're badass and everything. But, like, wouldn't you rather listen to something you, like, never heard before? I mean, I, I get it completely. Like, oh, I'm just going to go to Old Faithful. Nothing wrong with going with Old Faithful. <laughs> but, like, sometimes you just got to listen to Wear Goat. Like, seriously. Like, it's one of those things. Like, you know, like, I'm in the mood for some Demi Lich. Like, after pulling the tape out. But this is, like, one of my favorite... I know it's off-topic, but, uh... I had this real sick Wendigang tape, too, where, like, that's red. And, like, I don't know. It's just really sick. But, uh... It has, like, an older Demi Lich logo down there from one of the demos. Because I had the demo comp and the LP. But... The fact that it comes with the Forget Sweden thing, but... I saw somebody a couple nights ago on uh, Instagram, and I'm sorry, Hemorrhoid, this will take a second, because it's right here, and because I, I saw that this person has this framed, but I think it's an original version, which is cool as hell. And I, I would frame it too, but I was thinking, I was like, you know what? Like, if I was to frame anything, it would probably be this. They had the original one. Like, I'm positive it was the original one. Like, the Forget Sweden. Because I'm a big Demi Lich fan, and like, I don't want to, you know, lose the whole thing. I don't want to cut, like, a pig. I, I just... I know I could probably just take it and make a copy of it. You know what? That's a good idea. Take it to, like, Kinkos, make a copy of it, 
And even, I can make a copy of that, too. Like frame that. That's what I mean. I'm like, see, then I end up probably making a Demi Lich collage. Like, out of all the other... Why am I talking about Demi Lich? See, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone and Hemorrhoid, but... Demi Lich, yes. Hey. <laughs> I, I love Demi Lich, though. I forget who I was talking to. They're like, it's Demi Lick. Like, I, I don't care. It's, I don't. It, Demi Lich, Demi Lick. Who the fuck? It's the same. It, whatever. <laughs> it's badass, and that, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. And that's how Hemorrhoids debut full length raw materials of decay happens to be. Just A plus, top shelf. Death grind. Like I said, if you're a fan of filthy, like nasty, grinding death, early galvanizer, definitely. Like if you dig early galvanizer, like shift some of those vocals and stuff, and like, yeah, it's just so. So good, but also, like I said, this is coming off the Necro Drunks, like, Terminal. That was one of my favorite, like, releases. And I, I don't think it got, like, a vinyl, like, press or anything. But I love uh, the Terminal Perversions. Oh, my goodness. I should have grabbed it. But, the, like, the last... Ne the last Necro Drunks full length was, like, again, it's one of the reasons why I even checked out Hemorrhoid to begin with, was Joshi was like, yeah, it's pretty much the Necro Drunks, and I was like, okay, like, I'll check it out, and instantly, yeah, the demo won me over, and from there... It was just a matter of time. I knew this was coming. I just didn't know when. They have a white tape and a red tape through head split. I did not look at the ERP one. That's what I mean. I'm guessing the ERP one is probably going to look more like that. But I don't know. I'm just taking a guess here. Like, I'm trying to think where my Gorephilia is. It's fucking right here. Sorry. Has the logo. So, I don't know if that's an ERP thing where the full length... I should know this, too. But I'm guessing full lengths get the logo. But the Excarnated Entity demo does not have the typewriter font, it has, like, the Excarnated Entity logo, the old logo, too. So, I don't know. I'm sorry. I I'm pretty sure this Dequisitor promo, though, this, yeah, it has the typewriter font, but it's, it's different. But still, it has that typewriter font, and that, yeah, I knew that had that. The Kill Town rehearsal does not. Let me check Humanoid. I think, yeah, that has the logo. I I really should have got to the bottom of it. Because, like, I know the Worm Ridden has the Worm Ridden logo. Like, I, I knew that for a fact. Because I listened to it a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I should have got to the bottom of that. But... Head Split Records has you covered in America. International hit up Extremely Rotten Productions in Denmark. And do not sleep on this. I think the CDs are like sold out. I don't, they might be. Oh no, shirts are sold out. So I would not sleep on this. Because people are starting to figure out like, Holy shit, like, since, like, Miasmasmic Necrosis, that's probably the last band where I was, like, and, like, Septic Fumes. Like, I I'm not just saying that because Josh, he's, like, my buddy. Like, for real. Like, I, I, I love that shit. 
But this just, like I said, legitimately, and both my parents were teachers, and they always told me there's no such thing as an A+, plus, but I'm going to give this a legitimate A+. Plus. This is exactly what I want when it comes to death grind. Some, not all the vocals are shifted. There's no, like, tape bubbles. They're, they, it's just real deal fucking death grind. And, and it's awesome. Like, it, it, don't get me wrong. I would love if they, like, used a drum machine. But the fact that it's it's not. Like, it's just, it, it, it's exactly, like I said, it's exactly what the fuck I want right now in my life. So, hails to Dylan, Seth, everyone in Hemorrhoid. Congratulations on Raw Materials of Decay. I really, honestly, hope this is, a, like, a big success. Because... For what it is, like, Hemorrhoid's debut album, Raw Materials of Decay, featuring 15 songs of fast and intense death grind. CD, LP, and cassette from Extremely Rotten, Europe, and Head Split Record, USA, coming March 2024. I think the LP is slated for later this year. I think it's awesome that Dylan does drums and vocals at the same time, like King Fally used to, and many others... Chris from Autopsy comes to mind, but look at that. So good. Like I said, I don't know if it's from Street Trash, but that was just the first thing I thought of when I saw those dumpsters. Like this promo photo was the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, whoa. It's like they took the movie Street Trash didn't go overboard with samples and just made this filthy slab of awesome. Check it out. Links will be in the video description. Raw materials of decay. Thanks for watching as always. Fucking rule. Thanks for making today's video possible. Peace and hails. <laughs>